third party launchers are one of the most fundamental aspects of Android ever growing customization landscape. Year after year, developers have tried to fabricate a unique and smarter experience for users by embedding a ton of personalization tools. However, in some cases, these applications can feel a bit challenging due to an overload of features or if you are not particularly used to messing around. But in this video, I will be mentioning best 5 unique Android launcher which will be a delight to use. So let's get started. Off Launcher does everything off your Android home screen which lets you do what you want faster. It allows convenient access to your favorite applications, system settings, switches and all your phone's widgets with just one hand. Off Launcher has 10 plus desktop gestures including icon gestures, folder gestures, reachable gestures which makes you feel comfortable to use it. You just have to swipe and slide to manage your Android and the quick access app drawer lets you get where you need to go comfortably. Off Launcher provides a clean desktop without widgets and icon everywhere. It clearly organizes your applications to slide out smart folders and show them at the home screen on the bottom so that you can touch every app with just one finger. You can also add more folders and arrange your favorite application to always be within your reach. While apps never cover or clutter up with beautiful desktop, Off Launcher lets you give every smart folder a wallpaper which shows on your phone screen. You can set your own picture or even stars poster as smart folders wallpaper. These personalized wallpaper will make your phone stylish and personal. This launcher is still in its beta stage so you may encounter some bugs here and there. TSF Launcher for Android is an awesome 3D launcher with fantastic animation transition effects and full ability to customize your home screen. The app allows you to define all the elements of the home screen very efficiently. Batch icons is also made available for picking dock bar, folders and home screens. The weather widget is just an unusual touch and might feel astound you. Adding functionality to music, all the music widgets needs to touch off your digital extremities. The sticky note widget function for nippy reminders and notes just adds to ease which is sure to leave you speechless. The launcher provides unconstrained dog bars. You can also modify its plates lengthwise measurement and viewpoint as well to adapt the dimensions and the rank of folders and icons in the dog bar. Either hidden or revealed, you can unlock the folders and the application in the dog bar with Remical Wave Slitting Scheme. TSF Launcher 3D Shell application for Android is a fast launcher and, and grand effect customization by the side with the top and quick screen preview. The overall feel is like yet an added launcher devoid of any distinctive factors. Aviate is a popular launcher acquired by Yahoo early in its development and though a short closed beta it becomes a very mature option for those looking for a polished overall Android experience. The main gist of it is that Aviate builds collection of your applications based on different type of activities. You can of course tweak those collection manually as well and Aviate can offer suggestion to fill in collections. Aviate figures out where you are and what time of day it is and serves up with relevant collections in custom built interfaces called spaces so you can better handle those activities. For example, if you plug in your headphone in the daily life, it offers you quick access to media control and your favorite music application. Hit the road and you will be offered shortcuts to navigation home to the office. It's a great idea. First, with Z Launcher, the easiest way to move around your phone is simply draw letters on the screen. You can still open the app drawer at the bottom that requires you to find the applications the old fashioned way. Apps are arranged alphabetically in your app drawer so you will be scrolling up and down looking for the application you wanted. 
while drawing the first letters on the screen will bring up the application with that letter in them. If you draw a second letter, you can filter down the applications in the search result. This is an interesting and tactful addition to the launcher world. Personally, I like it. Another thing that Nokia did with the Z launcher is allow the search result to be ranked based on your usage. More popular apps, contacts, website, etc. will be at the top of the list. This is pretty awesome in my book. Well, this launcher might not be for everybody, but personally, I love it. ASAP Launcher does things in a bit quicker way. There are no widgets. Wave goodbye to expandable home pages. Not even folders and there aren't even icons on the home screen itself. On the contrary, ASAP Launcher tucks everything away on the edges. With quick access drawer on the left, toggles for settings on the right and an array of most used application are accessible from the bottom dock. That's not it. There are interactive pages for basic necessities like weathers, frequent contacts, calendar entries and a to-do list. On the landing screen, there's a material themed card on top displaying the time, date, weather, Google Voice button and music controls. In my final opinion, I will tell you to definitely try this out once. Download it. Link to all the mentioned launcher can be found in the video description. That is it for this video. Please guys subscribe to this channel as I aim to get 10k subscribers before the mid of 2017 and I will do the hard work for it. Also give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the YouTube comment section. So with that being said, this is me Rahul from Tech Daily and I'm bidding you a bye-bye. Do subscribe.